Ah, I got the propeller on there. Oh, and I just shoved the boat back so it would tip down and put the propeller in the water right here. Here, let me show you. There it is. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. on three solar panels right now. Full power would be four solar panels. Like at noon. I haven't hooked up the batteries yet. And the batteries are hooked up charging. They're just not motor controllerized yet. I'll worry about that later. Oh good, still floats with all the weight in the back. Should still float with me in there. So I was thinking, maybe I should test my solar boat propeller tomorrow. Yeah, definitely tomorrow. Oh, look at that sky. Oh, blue skies, yes! Just had two and a half days of rain and clouds. And I have a new GPS thing that seems to be more accurate than the, the old one that's like 10 years old. Uh, someone sent me some Bitcoin and I was going to get a handheld GPS, you know, those ones you use for hiking, but they're all like, they all use like AA batteries, which is such a pain. So instead, I got a tablet for much less Bitcoinage. It was refurbished. I got it on Overstock. Don't ask me if it's any good. Ask me in like a year. I don't know. It seems to be working so far. All right, speed zero kilometers per hour. So, yeah, let's put him to sleep. Get that guy in there. All right, let's go hit the water. All right, got my thing on. Got some open water ahead. Oh, hit some clouds. It's blue sky over there, though. I'll just wait for that. Come. Hmm. Maybe I should just go finish putting my speed controller together so I can run on the batteries. Nah, I want to do a solar test first. Oh, seriously, it is so cloudy right now. All right, I'm gonna wait a bit. Maybe I'll go work on my speed controller. Probably get that done by the time the sun comes out. Just need to pay attention. When I see some bright sun, jump in the boat. Oh, sun's out! Move it, move it, move it! back to parked. I think the problem with the vibration, I mean part of it is just that things are not perfectly balanced, but uh, also the motor is not getting up to fast enough rotational speed um, because the propeller is not low enough pitch, it's too high pitch. Or the blades are too big, or I need to adjust the propeller anyway. I just took it off and bent the propeller blades, so instead of being more this way, now they're more that way. Let's just give it a quick test here. When it's in shallow water like this, it'll suck up bubbles and you can see where the water's spraying. Oh, back to clouds. Oh, whatever. Just a quick low power test.
like it's squirting a little better than before. There's a little bit more sun now and the vibration's dying down so I think it, it does have a lot to do with the rotation speed. It is looking a lot better with that. I just want to get some full sun for like 10 seconds. So I can look at it here. I'm trying to keep in mind that when I first did this propeller, the one for the pedals, it took a few tries before I got it to be good. And by good, I mean it was like three times as fast, like the boat went three times the speed, two or three times the speed as it was when I first put the propeller on before I made adjustments. So hopefully it goes the same way with this one. Of course, there is always that possibility that it just plain sucks. All right, while I'm waiting for the clouds, let's get the speed controller situation under control. This is the uh, throttle thingy. I've actually been using heat shrink tubing. I bought some a little while ago. Keep it dry. Now I'm just going to follow the rest of the instructions. Put this stupid thing together. What is this pile of wires? Now I got the speed control totally hooked up. And if I turn it on, down here I get blinking green, red, red, green, red, red. And I looked up what that means. It means low voltage. And looking up here, I've got 27 volts, which is plenty for a 24 volt thing. So. I got this from someone else, so whoever else got it must have ordered it programmed for a different voltage. So I need to reprogram it. That means taking off this little plug, and there's a one of those USB printer cable thingies. I have to connect that to my computer after I go to the website and download the program, and blah 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 blah. Ah, I'm doing that later. So why did I attach the speed controller to the lid? Well, it was either that or like stuff it back there where I can't reach it or make a whole other thing. So the lid is fine. Fits. Doesn't hit anything when it closes. I have a super old solenoid here. I don't know where it came from. I bought it surplus for like a dollar or something. And then here's my throttle control. I even uh, shrink wrapped all my wires. I did that on all my wire connections. Very nice, very nice. So this, right now, I'm just gonna put it on there and then, you know, turn it. Uh, I might make it like lock in here at some point. The thing is, the way it is right now, it's spring loaded, so I have to hold on to it anyway. So you know, it's fine that it's just sitting there. That way, it's easy to put away too. I'm done with this for today. I'll look up the speed control program tonight. It's on their website. Oh, and I've been waiting for the sun all day. Oh, and look who just came out. Except it's way low in the sky and doesn't really help right now because it's like four in the afternoon. So, yeah, I'm done. Uh, I'll play with this more tomorrow.